Hey Science Action Club members, we're here today at the California Academy of Sciences. And today we're going to school yard safari. Using our collection tools, we're going to go find arthropods. Each time you set on a schoolyard safari, you'll be collecting arthropods, sharing your observations on iNaturalist, and recording a Critter Chronicles video. So we're using this beading sheet to collect any arthropods that come out when we beat the bush. And then after we collect some arthropods onto the sheet, we're going to use the aspirator. Right now I'm using the sweep net to collect flying arthropods like bees, moths, and butterflies. Once we've collected something, we're going to gently sweep whatever species we want into the little petri dish. And once that's done, we can put a piece of foam on it gently and then close the petri dish. Now that we've collected arthropods, we're using the magnifying loop in our digital device to take photos of them in the petri dish. Next, upload your photos to iNaturalist and share your observations on the Arthropods in Your Schoolyard project page. Science explorers from around the world are excited to connect with you and help identify the arthropods you've discovered. After exploring your schoolyard, make sure to record your Critter Chronicles video to document what you discovered. Where did you guys go to find arthropods? We went to look by the sidewalk under bushes and tall plants. What collection tools did you use and how did you use them? We used the beading sheet to collect arthropods from the bushes when we hit them. And we also used the nets to collect flying insects, such as like butterflies. And also we used the aspirator to collect insects on the floor. What types of things did you find today? We found arthropods like spiders, ants, moths, and roly polies. What challenges came up and how would you do it differently next time? At first it was difficult to get a clear picture of the arthropod. Next time, we'll make sure to place the iPad directly on top of the magnifying loop, and then focus it by twisting the knob back and forth. Thanks for joining us on our schoolyard safari, and we're excited to see what you find on your adventure. Make sure to record your own Critter Chronicles videos next time you set out to explore. <laughs>